Hello, today I'm going to explain how to use guidelines in AVSnap. Let's first set up our work environment. Press shortcut P. The first thing we need to do is to disable automatic backup under global settings. Disable it right here. And then I'm going to press OK. Our reference point is always going to be top left corner. On the bottom corner on the left, you will see X and Y coordinates. We can also turn the rulers on by pressing Ctrl and a tilde sign. And this will allow us to turn the rulers on the top and left side, pressing it again, will turn the rulers on the bottom and right side, and pressing it again, will remove the rulers. Today, we will talk about a new feature that was introduced in version 6.35, Guidelines. We use shortcut Control g to create guidelines in AVSnap. If I press Control g at this time, the AVSnap will insert guidelines on the middle of the page. These guidelines are not locked because we did not select an option to lock them. Use shortcut P and go to Global tab. I can lock guidelines when they're created. I go ahead and select it, apply, remove the guidelines, press Control G, and as you can see now they're selected and there's a lock icon on the mouse pointer and you cannot move those. You can also insert guidelines from the menu. If you go to the left top, Edit menu, and then press Insert Guideline. Let's place a rectangle on the middle of the page. Now when the rectangle is selected, if I press Ctrl G, I will create four guidelines. In many cases, you may need only one or two guidelines. If I place my mouse pointer in the corner of the object, I will create two guidelines. If I place mouse pointer on the sides of the rectangle, I will create a single guideline. There are several ways to move guidelines. I can use arrow keys up and down, left and right. You can also move guidelines just by grabbing it and moving it with the mouse. You can also use a specific setting for the guideline. Double click on it, set it exactly at 1.5 inches and click OK and it will move to 1.5 inches. When you create multiple guidelines you want to be able to print the page without showing guidelines. Let's go ahead and create guidelines. Control P as a shortcut to print it. And you can see that our guidelines do not show on the print. If you want to see guidelines on the printing, just click print guidelines. Thank you for listening.